<sighs> right, hello everybody. We've got a uh, tough, tough session tonight. Um, today, tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do five, six minute pieces. Okay, but, but very short rest in between. Um, so we've only got the 90 seconds. We've only got a minute and a half in between. And we're pretty decent in the rates. Okay, pretty decent in the rates. So um, have a good warm up. You're going to need it. Um, so I'm good to go. But for you guys, maybe uh, you need to spruce it up a little bit, get ready, get prepared, because, um, yeah, the, the six minutes is going to take a little bit of time, I guess, um, you know, like in, in terms of feeling-wise. Um, but what will happen is because we've only got that 90 seconds rest, we'll be like, oh, crikey, okay, and boom, we're back into it straight away. Um, so... Uh, we will start to really feel a pinch of it, I guess, through that 28, um, you know, and then obviously the last couple, 30, 32. Now, as I said many times, if your sort of race rating is going to be up around sort of 30, 32, you don't think you can, um, you know, get it up that level, then maybe start a bit lower, start at 20, 22, and then sort of finish at 28. Uh, so just play it by ear. But the whole idea of this is it's, it's a pretty decent time, um, you know, that six minutes time, and it's quite intensive. Um, so we're looking for that residual fatigue. We are actually searching for that. And we also want to get a good speed, a good split, um, and we've got to be pretty focused the whole time to, to be able to manage it and keep it going. Um, so oh, I must be getting nervous because that's why I'm yawning. Um, so, yeah, let's honestly, let's just get into it. Let's really ready to rock and roll. Yeah, buddy, make sure the UG data is all connected. Seems like it. Yep, there we go. So we'll be just into our intervals again, as we always do. Flip that up to that six minutes, and then that rest period will just be one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, so a minute, 30 Okay, so we're to make sure we, we hit, hit our rhythm, you know, we get into that speed, um, you know, we, we get onto that, that feeling of, of momentum, um, you know, of moving the hands, keeping the flow, keeping the good push, uh, you know, and, and ultimately that's why I say you need to do a pretty, pretty good warm up to get into it um, for basically that reason that we're hitting the mark like at 26, uh, at 24 straight away. So, yeah, we're not going to be mucking around too much. And, um, you know, we'll be hitting that decent split straight away. So, so make sure. Make sure it's good warm-up. Let's just not get into this cold um, for that reason. Okay? So it, could, it will be end up being quite tough. You might find that it is quite tough. Mm. All right. So without further ado, let's go, really. I'm ready to rock and roll. So we've got to make sure, especially in that warm up that you do, um, and if you haven't done it yet, maybe just go back and, and throw in a couple of, you know, like maybe a minute or so at that sort of 24 to get that speed, get that feeling. Um, you know, and ultimately that'll help us along. So also play with the drag factor in these if you want um, to get, you know, to get a feeling. Uh, maybe you've been experimenting a bit. Maybe you're feeling a bit tired today, so you might want to drop it down so you can keep the rate. Um, or you could be feeling really strong and powerful, so bump it up. Okay. Um, other than that, let's let's go. All right. Ready. Look for that acceleration. Okay. Six minutes. Really focus, and then we've got to be really switched on in these breaks because we're not going to get a huge amount of time. Um, to have that rest period, and then we're straight back into it again. <sighs> so here we go, 24 right. Are you ready? Go. Right. 
take a little bit to get into it. Get onto that rhythm. Feel that extension. That connection. Feel the hands. Bodies. With the push. Chris. momentum. Feel the breathing. Composure. Nice momentum. Hands, feet, lower back. Sitting tall. Feel that rhythm. Feel the push. Swing. Push and swing. The acceleration. Dictate. Speed forward.
Good. All the way. He's up. Yeah, really good. Okay. So. Pretty good rhythm. You know, that's... Uh, the part about it. We can quite easily get nice speed, nice momentum at that, but ultimately now we're going to have to add a little bit more to get that little bit more speed. Okay. So we've got to be focused. We're going to be sitting tall to move things a little bit quicker. Okay, and yes, it is six minutes. It's going to be a reasonably tough distance. Okay. This type of thing is really focused towards 2K testing. Do similar workouts in this. So, here we go. Booming. Ready to move. Now. Tap it along. Good length. Move the hair. Sell it right. Really good. Hold the rhythm. Carry. So let push. Momentum. Good hand. Fill a hand. Push. Breathing.
to the arms, come to us, swing. Perfect. Okay, give it time. You let momentum. The hand speed. Feeling the body getting pushed there with the feet. Symmetrical. Still all right. Really good. So breathe it in. Breathe it in. I did say it was going to be easy. Okay, so looking for that consistency. Got to get the hang, put the muscles in a position, really just feel it. Obviously, need to hang a bit more in my underarms, take the tension out of the shoulders, feel the pack up. Remember, we've got to be able to produce the speed which creates the momentum. Okay, if we feel ourselves coming to the foot, feeling like we're doing that. We obviously haven't created that leg swing acceleration. Okay? So it's a catch 22. Can't have one without the other. So we have to commit to it a little bit. Can't go easy on it, okay? So here we go. 28 rate. Got to tap it. Got to tap it. Here we go. Now, feel the rhythm, feel the glide, good, move the hand. Really good. Breathing.
Legs going down. Drive in the back. hang so all right Momentum. Push. Heads up, chest up. Breathing. Good. The flow. Hang. Do a sit up. Good. Good momentum. Good focus. Last minute. Rhythm. Hands to us. Push. <clears throat> Breathe. Bull.
really good. Okay, breathe it in. Good so far. Good focus. Sitting tall, getting that momentum. Almost found it quite easy on that. Might even just tap the drag factor up a bit. Felt like I was really having to hold it back. So maybe I maybe I needed to go up a little bit. Okay. So, let's just get a good focus on this next piece. It's 30 rate. Really want to be able to get that acceleration and swing. Starting to breathe now. 20 seconds left on the clock. Okay. Good focus. Good speed. Here we go. 30 rate. Remember, tap it along. Tap on top of the flywheel. Be consistent. Deep breaths. Now, accelerate. Move the hands. Good. Push. On the target. Remember, tap. Consistency. Sitting tall. Feel the flow. Move the hand. Push, swing. Acceleration. Breathe. Find the zone, tap it. And spin. Push. Hang speed. Breathing. Face. Relax. Good. 
I mean some hands. Hold the target. Push. Focus this piece. Watch the screen. Roll with it. And move them. In the front. Push. Body. Hold the tool. Breathe. Last minute. Hold on. Relaxation. Good. Hold it on. Good. All the way. Really nice. Okay. Breathe it in. Keep moving. A few options here now. Okay, if that was a bit hard, hold it again. Maybe even come back a step. Okay. Let's try not to stop. Okay, but if you're toast, just roll it out with us. Okay, stay on and do your warm down while we keep going. Okay. Everyone gets a bit of motivation. If we are going... Okay, don't focus too much split, okay, number wise, unless you're feeling really, 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 really good, okay, otherwise, remember it's a rhythm, continuous mo motion, it's a flow, that's what we're after, okay, and we're going to move these hands, we get it off the front, we're going to move these hands, okay, start to firm. Here we go. 32. Okay, we're going to tap it. Tap on top of the flywheel. Here we go. Building. This way. Now. Remember, it's acceleration. Hands to us in a way. Focus. Round the front. Pick the speed.
Focus. Good. Push. Breathe. Hands. Long arms. Focus. Breathe. Move the hand. Breathe. Focus. Halfway. Move the hands. Hold it on. Both feet. Legs. Hands. Swing. Continuous. Good. Keep it on. Push. Yeah, nice. Under 500. Sitting tall. Hit up. Yeah, last minute. Hold. Hold split. Fuck it in. Good. 30 seconds. Hold. Relax the face. Really good. Oh, nice. Oh. 
Really good focus. Keep moving. Remember, active recovery. Breathe it in. Just moving up and down a little bit. Get our breath back. We slowly introduce. Okay, no sitting still. Up and down movements. Really good. Try and talk when I can get some oxygen in. Really, really good. Focus and consistency. Okay, it was hard trying to keep that rate up and the power. As I say, it's a tough session. Okay, we've done a little bit of rating stuff, but this is starting to push up for a long period of time, trying to maintain our split for a long period of time. Okay, just hit your menu just so we can store that into the memory and we'll keep paddling down. But yeah, she, because we don't have a bit more time, you know, when we're doing one minute pieces or a smaller change or we have a bigger rest, you'll notice that you can focus a bit more intensity on those numbers, you know, and ultimately as we improve and we work towards a specific target, we want to really focus those type of uh, sessions, you know, but, and ultimately those are sort of 1500 meter or, or uh, 2K sessions where we just at a set rate, trying to hold a set speed the whole time, you know, which is what we did for six minutes. So, you know, if we look back in our, in our memory after this, we should be able to see, you know, imagine a graph of where our numbers are and the increase we got between each one, you know, and potentially if we were like, okay, we're just going to do one six minute piece at 32, you know, you should be able to produce quite a lot more power than what we did in that one because ultimately we've done 20, four minutes working up to that final one, okay, but the only way to do max stuff is to either do max stuff, which is really hard to repeat all the time, um, or else build what we do with this with that residual fatigue, so by the time we get to the last piece, yes, the speeds aren't going to be there, the fatigue's going to be there, so we have to get a mental focus on the, our rhythm and on our flow and on our technique and on our power, which is what I was trying to trying to puff out, <laughs> excuse me if I couldn't get enough out, um, in that last set, you know, and ultimately we just got to focus, watch the time tick by, and try and hold those numbers, try and hold the rate, try and hold our composure, okay, and that's what it's all about, so, good warm down after the session, okay, we want to get, want to get the muscles working again, we're starting to build into that active recovery, starting to put a bit of power on behind the handle. Muscles are moving, getting a flow, a stretch, get it into a nice, nice long and strong position. There we go. Feel those legs. Pushing the body. Good. Okay, so while you guys keep warming down, I'll just debrief a little bit more. Um, very solid. Okay, tough. It is tough. Okay. Um, and I just thought, you know, we've done some pieces and we've done a lot of changes and that type of thing, but we probably haven't sat at a pretty intense rate for a while. Um, you know, so those ones there, and trying to explain a little bit around that rest period as well, that, you know, yes, the we want to have rest, you know, because rest is good, it, it makes us feel better, that type of thing, um, but ultimately, we, um, we, we want to try and have as least rest as we possibly can, because the benefits that you can get from that are, are pretty awesome, um, you know, and so, if we could... We'd try and do it continuously, but we can't. There's no way we could do 30 minutes. Well, we could. Man, she would be solid. That would be a solid air session. Okay, if we just did 30 minutes, um, 
increasing those rates every six minutes, man, we would find that very, very, very tough, okay, like testing tough almost, okay, like a 30-minute piece tough. Um, but, yeah, that breaking it up, having that short rest period, um, it, it, it really does change the way our bodies develop. Um, you know, if I put in there three minutes rest, man, we'd be able to hit way better numbers at each one of those because we'd have so much more time to rest and recover. We can give it a little bit more, and it's just subconsciously as well. Um, whereas that there, we, we do give it as much as we can. We are focused, but yes, there is some stuff in the back of your mind. So there's a whole mental side of, of all of this as well. Um, but I think we nailed it. Okay, it was really good. It was getting really tough towards the end. Um, awesome if you went all the way through. You know, if you only got four, you had to back off, three, back off, whatever it is. Next time, you know, give it another go. Okay, that's all we, that's all we ask. Um, you know, you want to get a bit of improvement. I'm trying to get a bit of improvement. That's what we're all here doing. So, great work. Stay tuned in. Um, we're just going to keep, keep rocking, doing as much as we can. Awesome. Thanks a lot, team. Catch you soon.